Welcome back friends. Today I'm going to show you how to do a DIY watercolor cactus mural, all doing it freehand with acrylic paints. So let's go. Hi everyone, it's Christine. Welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a minute since we have last hung out here on this channel. I'm sorry for being MIA. As you know, the world has just been crazy with the pandemic and other uh, big events happening. So anyways, I've missed you. I hope you've all been well. And through this all, we have had so many projects on the go. And so today I wanted to share with you how I am doing a DIY watercolor cactus mural in my daughter's room. A couple of years ago, I made over my daughter's room in our last home and I painted, I freehanded a floral mural behind her bed, kind of like a headboard. And I didn't actually document any of it. I just did it. To be honest, it was my first time ever doing it and I had no clue how it was going to turn out. And after that, I got so many questions asking how I did it. And so today I thought it would be the perfect time as I'm attempting to do another mural to show you how I'm going to do it. Originally, I fell in love with with this blue prickly pear cactus removable wallpaper that was from a mural store. And I reached out to them kind of as COVID was all taking off and they weren't doing any shipments. And then since then they've actually discontinued it, which is like, devastating for me <laughs> and i was so set on this print i couldn't get it out of my mind i looked online i could find some that were similar but none that really just you know got me by the heartstrings and also i didn't want to spend like four or five hundred dollars on this so i started thinking about it and i was like you know what i'm just gonna do it again i'm just gonna paint it again myself but this time i want a more watercolor look so today i am gonna take you along the journey as i attempt this prickly pear cactus watercolor mural with acrylic paints and so yeah that's all there is to say about it let's just get to drawing and to painting so to start, I just took a pencil and I freehanded the different cactus shapes on the wall, referencing different pictures online that I wanted to use and wanted the cactus to look like. I kept the bed there originally because I wanted to make sure the proportions were all right. And then it was time to paint. Again, this was all done freehand. What I used were acrylic craft paints that I got at the craft store. As you can tell in a little bit, I just got big paper plates and I just started mixing all different colors of blues and whites because I wanted to add a lot of shading to the cactus. To get that watercolor look, I first started by trying to use a spray bottle, but then I found that the paint was leaking too much down the wall. So I decided to change my method and I actually just got a cup full of water and after I would get the first coat of blue on the cactus, I would then go in with a lighter shade of blue or white and I would first dip my paint into, I would first dip my paintbrush into the water and that would just create a softer, more watered down version of the paint and I just kept layering. There's really no rhyme or reason to this. Again, I just kept referencing the pictures online on Pinterest that I had found, and I just kept adding in lighter shades of blue and darker shades of white that I had mixed in with the blue. These last two, I wanted them more of an ombre effect, so I went from left to right, dark blue into a lighter blue. I added in a couple of flowers and then finished off the details with some black um, spikes that you know are so famous on cactuses and I absolutely love the way this completely custom cactus mural turned out. All it cost me was you know probably about $20 for the acrylic paints versus a few hundred dollars for a wallpaper mural and it's completely custom. It was actually quite easy and a lot of fun to do. Well, 
Well, there you have it, friends. The wall is complete. I have pulled myself back together and I'm so excited to share this project with you. I hope you loved it. You really do not have to be an artist. I cannot even draw stick people properly. But just taking a pencil and freehanding it, there's no wrong way to do this. I absolutely love the way it turned out. My daughter loves the way it turned out. I just played around with so many colors, different shades, and you know what? As I was painting, some things got a little bigger than what I had drawn, and that was okay. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever tried painting your own mural at home, or if you think you could tackle it after watching this video. If you're not subscribed, we'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and join our family here. We post videos usually <coughs> every week on tips, tricks, and hacks for your home life and adventures. Thank you guys so much. We will see you next time. Bye.